I hate to say no. And when pastor called me, I was like, yes. And he's like, are you sure you, you want to think about it? I was like, no, 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 I'll do it. Then I called my husband. I was like, um, I, I said yes to pastor Lewis. I don't know what I'm, he's like, why? I was like, I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. Um, and I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, but, um, so my life is, was far from perfect. Um, and I knew God on my life. I just knew him as a healer and that was it. God, I need this. And, and, and once he healed me, oh, I'm, I'm fine now, God. And I just walked away and did everything else I wanted to do. And that was not godly and just kind of drifted away every single time. But when I needed him, I was, I was um, praying, asking God to heal me. And, and from the depression I had, from anxiety that I had, and I had severe anxiety, um, felt like I was almost just losing my mind completely. Um, and um, I prayed and I asked God, you know, just, just please heal me. Just, I, I need this to go away. I, I'm losing my mind. No one around me understands what's going on. I don't even know, understand what's going on. And uh, he healed me. After um, some months, he, he completely healed me from, from every single day having uh, an anxiety and a panic attack every moment. Um, he completely healed me. And um, and not even that made me change my ways. Not even that made me say, you know what? I owe him that. Um, I still walked away. Um, I was at a point in my life, 2021, where um, I was just, it was so rough. At the beginning of 2021, it was just so rough. And, and I was losing all the relationships important to me, friendships, you know, relationship with my husband was really rocky. And, um, and I slowly, everybody started, you know, kind of my relationships that were most important just kind of started falling apart. And I knew that this wasn't a punishment from God. So I asked and I prayed to God. I was like, what do you want from, from me? What, what should I do? What, what, what are you trying to teach me? And um, clear as day, he told me, I'm trying to thank you. I was, I was trying not to cry, but the minute you started talking, introducing me, I was like, oh, that's it. Um, that, that, at that very moment when I asked him, what do you want from me? Why is everything falling apart? He told me, and, and I could still hear him in my head and say, because I come first before anybody, before everything. I come first and, and everything else will follow. And I said, okay, this is life changing because I hit rock bottom from everything that I know. I hit rock bottom and you're talking to me and, and you're telling me this. So I told my husband, you know what? Nothing will work out unless we have God as our foundation. Nothing will work if you don't have that relationship and I don't have that relationship. Before we can have a relationship, we need a relationship with God. I need to work and I need to, I need that with God first. And we started praying and we started worshiping at home and, and I got my kids involved and I quit my job that was really demanding of my time. I couldn't spend no time with my children, my husband. And I said, you know what? It was about the money at first. And I said, it's not about the money anymore. It's about my family. It's about God. It's about my relationship. So we started praying and we started worshiping and our lives started changing. And I started reading the Bible and, and we, our, our, my relationships were restored. And, and I, I knew that this was a momentum that, that I wanted to keep going, that I wanted to keep, this was, this is what I've been missing, God. This is what we've been missing, God. Like, this is, this is awesome. We, need, we want to keep going. We want to keep going. But I f wasn't complete. Didn't feel happy. Didn't. I mean, I was happy. I just didn't feel complete. And um, so I told my husband, uh, let's find a church. You know, we're, we're following God. We're reading the Bible. We're doing this with our children, worshiping on Sundays. Uh, but I, I, I feel like I want more of God. I feel like I want to be in the house of God. I feel like I want to be in the presence of God. So um, I, 
I Googled church, too. I was like, I was like uh, church near me, let's see. Um, and it was between this church and the church across. And um, so I said, what's more, what is more important to me in my life is my children. I have three. The other one was coughing up a storm this morning. I was like, stay home. Um, but I have three children. We have three children. And um, they're the most important thing in my life right now uh, from, you know, from our lives. And um, I knew that I wanted to get in a church that was going to, be all for the kids, be, have, you know, just pray, like just be with the kids, have activities for the kids, have classes for the kids. And uh, when I started looking into the web, the, pay, the website for, for the lighthouse, I was like, man, there's kids ministry, there's youth ministry. I have, you know, my, my oldest is 14. And, and I started, I said, you know what? I told my husband, I want to go to this church. I want to try this church. And, um, he was working Sundays. That's why he didn't come that Sunday with me. But I told him, you know what? I can't keep holding it off, putting it off. If you go, you go. You don't, you don't. So he ended up having to work. And we came. And since that first time, the first experience with this church, with the presence of the Lord, we were just like, I, I picked up my kids and my youngest, he's, he's so sweet. He's like, I love this church, mom. I love it and I want to come back and I want to, you know, he was looking forward to it every single time. We were so moved by the, the, the presence of the Lord that we said, you know what, if you, we kept hearing baptized, you know, uh, soon it's going to be baptized, soon as there's a baptizing and, and my kids and, and me and my husband, we talked about it and we said, we want to get baptized. We're ready. We felt ready. And um, since our, we've been here ever since, that was the beginning of March. And um, with, with God in our life, we, we now forgive faster. We now, the, the anger that we used to have, it doesn't come to us anymore. The impatience, the, the patience with our kids, the patience between each other, the patience with everybody else, there's, it doesn't, the peace that we have, that God has given us, the strength that he's given us, the sins, the temptations of the sins, it doesn't even cross us anymore. It's just, you know what? We know that's, that's not the way to live, God, and we're going to live for you and walk for you. And we just, with God in our lives, it's been nothing but amazing. And 2023, we said, you know what? We're going to keep going more for God. Oh, I just love this family. They're amazing.